So can you remember your name? Maxwell. Maxwell okay. Maxwell Quincy. Mm. How long have I been here? I said just calm down. You don't need to bother about that, okay? However, you've not been here for too long. But we'll take good care of you. Okay? Um, please, nurse, make sure you keep an eye on him. Yeah. My wife. Your wife? My wife. Uh, please, uh, just calm down. Calm nurse, please go get me that shot. Uh, Quickly! Calm down, sir. You'll be fine, okay? This is my wife. Calm my down, wife. calm down. Just calm down, calm down. Nurse! Quickly! Hurry! Get me that shot! I'm glad you have woken up. My name is Detective Steve. I'm in charge of your case. There was no eyewitness when the accident happened. It took a while before sympathizers arrived at the scene. It's our belief that your wife might have drowned in the river because her body is yet to be found. That cannot be true. It just cannot be true, my wife. My wife cannot be dead. I believe she survived the accident. I believe she's alive. Did you, did you search the river? Yes, our rescue team combed the river and the river bank. All this years to be found. Please accept my sympathy. found this at the scene of the accident. I think it might be of interest to you. Don't be hard on yourself, okay? Everything will be just fine. Please, take it easy. You'll be fine, please. Oriaco! Where are you? Go! 
Oh, no, thank God! I can't do this anymore. Oh, no! Aku! Hey! What is being on this? What was I doing this thing? Oh, no! Aku! Come on, help me! Let's take a home! Well, she has been responding very well to the treatment. Oh, oh there is a little bit challenge here. What is it, Doctor? She seems not to be understanding anything. Hey! Not even her name, nor even remember what happened. Hey, what do you call this? Hmm? Doctor? Oh, uh, a scan reviewed she has a head injury. How do I reconcile her to her family? Oh. You know what? About reconciling her with her family, we will we'll do something about it. Okay. Hmm? We will try our best. Okay, Doctor. Just help me to revive her totally. Revive her totally. Please. Then we cannot talk about reconciling her to her family later. It's okay. Don't worry. We will do our best. Mm -hmm. Hey, good job, guys. Have you been able to remember anything so far? about the image of the accident, okay? With time, it will just fade away. Hmm? Don't worry about anything. You'll be fine, huh? Come on. Smile, stop crying, okay? Stop okay. crying, you'll be fine. Okay. Thanks a lot. Alright. I will see you later. Hmm? No one give me this now, Abby. I said no one give me this. They say they only four times. Don't give me for nice. Just come here and do this. Just come for me, Abby. Ordinary four times. Don't give me. Just come for safety. Why? Yeah, they. I know that thing again. I know that thing again. We will not do four times. Don't give me that. If you want to do this one again, you go hard money. You go hard money. Yeah, so we say make hard money for her. I said, me now we carry you come here and say I go hard money. You go hard money.
what happened to you? Did you fight with any of your uh, colleagues? Then what happened? Because she looks so terrible. <sighs> a customer beat me up at this customer house. Beat. What did you do this time? This time I did nothing bad. <laughs> he agreed to pay me 3,000 naira <laughs> to spend time with him till 9 p.m. But when we got to his house, he wanted me to spend the entire night with him. I told him his money is 7,000 naira and he agreed. And in the morning, he refused paying you the money and you fought him, right? No. That's not what happened. In the morning, he wanted to go a few more times with me. Okay. But when I reminded him the money he's supposed to pay me, he beat me up. It's okay. Um. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for judging you so fast. There's no other happened. He raped me. Hmm? <laughs> he raped me repeatedly after beating me up. I took all the money I had with me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Come. Oh, it's okay. Hmm? I have nowhere to go to. Why? So I decided to come here. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Don't stop crying. Even this mommy water here you are wearing is enough for somebody to beat you and rape you. Eh? You eh? raped me. Stop. stop saying it. Why would I believe her? Okay. Now let's make a deal. If I should get that, you're going to get me a wonderful gift. Hmm? Yes. If I didn't get it, I will get you. Um, okay, let's say a new hair. Of course, I need to change this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go now. No way. If you fail, you will buy me a new hair. Is that a deal? Deal. Okay. I go now. Okay. 30 states no, and that is Oh, my daughter is 36. Ah. Give me five. <laughs> That's my girl. Yes, 36 states and capital. Exactly. I go. Abia, Uma here. Akwa Ibon, Uyo, Adamawa, KB. Huh? 
is wrong with this man. This is not what I ordered for. Hello, Mr. Shan. I ordered 500 sets of designer bags. Yes! But what you shipped to me is 780. I don't get. Okay. Yes! That is what I've been trying to communicate to you. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm glad you could do something about it. Phone is going to just delay my customer's order. Hello? Janice? Yes, good afternoon. I just spoke with Mr. Shan. He's very sorry about the mix-up. Okay, okay. So, um, you can go ahead and tell our customers that your order will be ready by, let's say, end of the week. By next week, yes. Okay. My dear, my trip to Dubai was so stressful. I'm still resting at home. Okay, see, maybe because of you, I'll go to the shop tomorrow. Okay, and if the person that ordered for it is not ready to pay, then I will sell it to you. You're happy now, right? Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Hello, I want to go now. Let me get to work. What is it? Let me just guess. I don't know. What is it? Let me guess now. Um, I don't know. What is it? You might score 10 over 10 in my master's. Wow, that is awesome. Give me 5. Good boy. Mom, you also remember I'm the best in my school. Of friend. course. I have not forgotten. Come here. Mwah. Now, guess what? What? Guess! Mom, what now? I said guess. Mom, tell me now. I made you something special. Mommy, what do you make? Chicken noodle. Yay! I know you like it. See you. Okay, so come change your uniform, then you have your lunch. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is negative 2 plus 0 plus 4. It's equals to what? It should be minus 6. What? This is negative 2 and this is positive 4. Hey, hey, this boy. Welcome back, baby. Thank you. How are you? Hi. I missed you. What is going on there? Baby, come here. Hey. What are you telling me? Oh, surprise.
でしょ<笑>ベビShow it to you like a surprise. Hmm? Do what I want you to do. Okay. I give up. Just turn around and close your eyes. Don't open it till I ask you to. You have to okay? be fast, else I will turn around. Don't worry. I'll be fast about that.
Now let's read the other words.
Sir. How long did it take you to plan this? Just one week. Come on, sit down. This must have cost you a fortune. There is no cost too much for the wife of my youth, my beautiful wife. <sighs> You've never changed a bit in all these years. You always have something smart to say, don't you? Maybe. for me. I wasn't expecting a night like this. You always, always sweep me off my feet. And I love you. You know, my mom lent a little helping hand in planning all this. Yeah, that was why she came to pick up Chelsea. Really? Oh.
Baby, I can't stop looking at this painting. I love it. It's almost unbelievable. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah. Actually, I met the painter on Facebook and I contracted him to do that for you. You've loved me so much that I can't recognize myself anymore. I'll gladly lay down my life for you, anything you make it. What would I have done without you? Mm, I'll be honest with you, I should be the one to say these words. What would I have done without you? You came into my life and you just... You brought so much joy into it. You turned my life around. Before now I was in a mess. And after my wife died, I... I lost it. I mean, I just couldn't put myself together. I used to, I used to visit the river where... Where it all happened and spend hours just... Just thinking of what my life would become. Yeah. Baby, if you can hear my voice, just know that I am missing you so much. I've tried to live without you, but it is hard. It's so hard for someone to try to live without breath. I've tried to find love in others, but everyone reminds me of you. Your smile, your touch. I'm dying without you, Esther. This is all they brought to me when I woke up in the hospital. Why did it have to be this? It's our bond. The symbol of our love. I will carry it till the day I see you again. Whether in this life or in death. I love you, Esther. I'm very sorry you went through all that. <sighs> Those years were really hard years. Very hard. And then you came into my life and you just turned everything around. I believe God sent you to save me. What's wrong with my mind? I don't know where all those strange visions are coming from. And the worst part of it is that I can't even remember any of them. Baby, I'm sorry. together and we will overcome it together okay mm -hmm. just go on and take your tea it contains truth that will help you calm your nerves okay by tomorrow we'll go and see the psychiatrist go on 
Tak więc. the visions I see in my past. But yet, they are so real. As if, as if it happened at some point in time in my life. Well, the vision you describe is so powerful. I mean, it comes with so much clarity. I am minded to believe that it has to do with an event that occurred sometimes in, your, in the past. Um, they are not night visions. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see them while you're wild awake and it comes with so much pains on your head. Yes. But I can assure you that none of those visions that I see has ever occurred in my life. I know them myself. Yes, Doctor. As far as I know, my wife has not been through any of the visions she sees. I've known her for a long time. We are married for years now. Frankly speaking, I don't know where these things are. Oh, like I said, this vision has to do with our personal experience, which have been subdued long time ago. But at this point in time, it has been triggered somehow. Uh, doctor, this is so hard to believe. I think I'll have to talk to my parents. To see if they have an anything to say about this. Yes. Do it and it will help you. What well, we're going to run a scan on you to know if there is any injury in your head in time past, okay? Okay. But what you have to know is that in uh, time to come, there are certain visions that will begin to come out in form of an image that you've not seen now. So definitely the both of you must be ready. Excuse me, Doctor. Have you experienced such cases before? Yes. We've had cases of people who begin to recall events that have, that have happened in time past that they've completely forgotten in their mind. Well, it usually happens when there is an injury in their head and then the brain begins to recall and uh, by so doing it picks up every event that might have happened in time past yeah in this situation it actually can be triggered by something but in your wife's case i think the trigger has to do with the swimming pool at the launch yeah swimming pool what's happening guys breakfast not ready huh? I'm, I'm late for work I'm glad you went for what you wouldn't let me do that. That's your problem. Don't let you up here. Daddy! Mommy! Mommy, where's my breakfast and I'm late for school? Not fry egg for you this morning. See, I promise to fry some for you when you get back from school, okay? okay. This will all work up late. Mommy, you and Daddy stay too long in the bedroom, and that is why I'm going to school late. And imagine there's no fried egg in my breakfast. Okay, uh, big boy, we're planning to bring that with the domestic staff. No! Why don't you want her back? Because she's a witch. True, Dan. Of course she's not a witch. Look at it this way. Mom is going to get very busy soon. Okay? And you know how busy I can get. So without the domestic staff, it's going to be very difficult to run things around here. And of course, with the domestic staff, you'll always get fried egg. Yes. Dan, please don't. Yeah. Jordan, I can't do all the work in the house alone. Besides, I'm traveling in a few days to meet up with some of my customers. So when I'm gone, who's going to take care of your and daddy? Huh? Oh, it's okay, we'll talk about that later, okay? Eat your food, you're running late. Yeah. Okay. Half 
不行。Now, look at this. It's most likely the result of your injury colliding with an object forcefully. Look at this. This is the cloth consisting of the injury you sustained in your head. From my assessments, I think it's an old injury. I know I have an injury, but I don't know what it happened. I actually took it as a, a scar or an injury I had when I was a child. Well, we don't expect you to. You see, with the size of the image here, I am not surprised that you cannot remember when this injury occurred. But I must tell you the truth, you were really, really, it was really, really a miracle for you to have survived. Yes. What you see here is the blood that is running through your brain. In time pass, your injury is gradually, you gradually getting okay. So, Doc, what you're saying now is that my wife has a memories of events which she lost as a result of the accident. Coming back to her now, at the moment, accounts of the injury in her head haven't healed very much now. Exactly! The images she has been seeing, it's actually the accident itself. Hmm. Babe, hmm? I, I think your parents can help us make sense of this, can they? Uh, of course, of course they should. Um, but so far, I don't remember anybody telling me I had an accident at any time in my life. trying to uh, get that document. I, I, I don't know what happened. I can't seem to find it. Yes, the last time. I, I know. I saw it in my office, but I don't know. Okay, just help me look for it. Maybe I left it in your office. I'll just check.
We promised to love each other forever. But somehow that accident happened. I don't know how you met your end in that river, but I still shudder thinking about it. She wants to bring Chelsea back, but I told her to allow her to spend some time with her. You know, in this recent situation, I don't think we can handle her. You saw the vision again, right? Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down, okay? Just calm. So, what is it? There was a man in the car with me. He was trying to help me. If all the car dragged me into a river. Do you, do you think you've seen the face before? <laughs> I couldn't see his face. It was as if a mist, a mist covered his face. I couldn't see it. Okay, okay just come down, okay? We're in this together. We'll make a plan to go see your parents, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you anyway, but I think we have met somewhere. I don't think we've met before. You might be mistaking me for someone else. No, no, I'm very much certain about this one. Very much certain. I think I've, I've seen you before. Really? Yes. Where might that be? Uh, that's what I'm trying to place, but I, I'm thinking... Um, yes, Coconut Brotel. Golden City. Yes, that's right. Hello, excuse me. Listen, there's nothing to be ashamed about, okay? It's just life, that's how life is. Besides, I paid you for the time you had then, but I'm as guilty as you are right now. Come on, let's just get over it. Let's go now. Listen, Jensen. If you were thinking, you would sit down and I would give you a blowjob. You are dead wrong. I am no longer a sex hawker. I've left that life long ago. And I think you should do the same. Yeah, I understand. But what I'm trying to say is this. Come on, listen. My guy. Oh, I don't even know the girl. No, I actually did. She was the one I was uh, I was do I was thinking. Are you serious? Yeah, she was. So where did you know her from? And you know, when I when I, when I first saw her, I was like, ah. And then I found that she was one of those that stays Are in you uh, coconut protein. Oh my God, I change your way, man. <laughs> you know, I was thinking we'll have some fun here, but let's just follow her up. Okay, let's yes, try follow her up. No, but I'm thinking maybe she must have driven this There's way. There's no way she would be that fast to reach that junction. That's what I'm suggesting we go this place. Uh, talking about the speed she was speeding with, I don't know. Let's just, let's just go this way. I think she went this way. Oh my god. That was too close. What was that guy thinking? To continue from where we stopped years ago? What is happening? My path is far behind me.
been years I came here last, and I feel guilty for that. And it's because I've been afraid of losing my mind. Sweetheart, I brought you this. I'm not sure you'll like the sound of this, Esther, but I want to make peace with the past and move on. I have a wife now, a wife who loves me a lot and a child who looks up to me. I have to be the best I can be for them. I've carried these rings for so many years. I feel it's time to get rid of them, Esther. Look, I can carry our wedding rings in my pockets, and you in my heart. And still love my wife, right? I hate to say this, I will not be coming here again in a long while. I do not know why the thoughts of you have chosen to invade my mind at this time. Sick. She's seen some strange vision. Yes, Papa. I have done that. The doctor believed that whatever is Amanda is saying is an event of the past. And Papa, please, we are coming to see you. I believe you can help us sort out this issue. Did you see it again? Yes. Yes. I can see in his face. Each time I close my eyes, I can describe him now. I can describe him now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just, just calm down. Just calm down, okay? Calm. Calm down. Calm down. Take it easy. Calm down. Okay? Now, talk to me. Come on. Who is he? Who is he? Okay. Who is he to me? Why do I keep seeing his face? He was in that car. He was in that car that crashed. Okay, okay. That car that crashed. He's me. He's me. Just come down. Come down and talk to me. So, so what happened? spoken to your father. We'll be leaving tomorrow morning to see him. I believe your parents will help us to solve these riddles. Why are all these happening now? Maybe she is now remembering the past. 
her memory seems to be coming back gradually. This is dangerous. My husband, let's tell her the truth now. In the past, there was a good reason to keeping the truth away from her. But now that she has started remembering her past, we owe her the truth, my husband. Please, let's tell her the truth. How will she see us after telling her the truth? That is the question. We have played her parents for too long a time. And to turn back and now tell her that we are no longer her parents. How will she see it? Too many lies have been told to give the impression that we are her actual parents. Everything we did, my husband, we did for a good reason. She lost her memory in that accident. How we couldn't have abandoned her in the hands of those public health officers in her condition. Please, I beg you. I beg you, let's tell her the truth. I beg you, please. Please, my husband. I am sorry, woman. I cannot do that. At least, not for now. Please. Please. No amount of pain will make me change my mind because I know it is our own good. Why am I thinking about you so much lately? What is your spirit trying to tell me? Have you brought her something to eat? No, there was no one to cook tea. I'm away. I'm hungry. Now you see what we need the domestic assistant. Tomorrow she resume work. Why is she acting grumpy? Why is she acting grumpy? There's nothing to worry about. I don't think she's acting grumpy. She's just. Maybe she had a bad day. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. Taking my path. Life pushed me to it when I thought I had no other option. serious. Just that I said some things today which reminded me how lucky I am to have you and our son and all the things God has blessed us with. It's, it's too much. Sure. Yes, I am. Come here. Baby, where are you? Come on. I'll give you right away. Baby. I'm not going to see, am I? 
you are not the same. Just like the doctor said, your mind is recalling some memories you lost through some accidents. Do you still love me? Hmm. Yes, I love you. I love you very much. I'm more drawn to you even in this situation. So do not allow the Satan to talk to you. Okay? I wasn't with my phone. Yes. So, how was the meeting today? Really? Ha! So, she's not the new share lady. Wow. Hey. Hmm. I'm very happy for her. I'm very happy for her. So which channel did you say the news is on? Okay, it's okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Not in the living room. I thought you had them locked away. 
keep beginning to see yourself with that again. Uh, I'm really very sorry. Believe me, I, I didn't mean to hurt you with that. Just that I don't know. I, I came across it in the office. I personally cleared your office of our pictures. How did this one manage to find its way back to your office? I don't know. I just I, I stumbled on it. Baby, are you okay? Her presence has become quite strong around me lately. You visited the river yesterday, did you not? Yes, I did. I did. I, I went there to appeal to her spirit to let me live my life. You shouldn't have gone there. For your own good, we had we done this long ago. I spoke harsh words to her yesterday. I told her that I would never visit the river again. I tried to throw the rings away, but I just couldn't. Jesus! You still have those rings? You have nothing to worry about. I'll put the rings away. It will never bother you again, okay? Why are you doing this to me? Do you have any idea of what it feels like to live with a loved one, knowing fully what he loves someone else? I know. I understand. Like I said, I understand the way you feel, but you have nothing to worry about. I mean, even if she comes back right now, things will never be the same for us. You're the one I love now. You came into my life at the time I was shattered and you put put my life in place again. I will never leave you, I promise.
Um, madam, this is the impression we are able to create based on the description you gave. This is the place. This is the place I seen the car with me. For you? Yes. Wow. It's all right. Um, we were able to come up with that based on the description you gave to us. And uh, however, I must have to make you understand that the face there might not really be exactly or as in look exactly like the one you've been seeing all this while because you know it's been long it's been long so it it's, may not really be exactly like the one on the paper um this is good this is good at least this will go a long way to help us it's all right i'm glad you like the little thing we did I thank was. you very much I appreciate it. Uh, don't feel to call on us any other time you think of coming. Oh well, I will come. Alright, I wish you good luck. I must confess, your wife is a very beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you, bro. is clear it comes like vision so real and my vision is I want to know it's who am I who is this man why can't I remember baby see don't swear over it okay your parents will unveil the mystery Disrespectful, but do you believe what your parents told us back there? I felt they were hiding something from us. But why should they? I don't trust anything they told us. Yeah, I don't believe that. I'm in so much doubt of what they told us. I don't believe them at all. They may have lied to us. Okay, um, do you remember anything about your past? About your childhood? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I can't remember anything. What of your teenage years baby i can't remember anything and wait i think i remember my mother once told me that i got this car on my head by getting involved in a fight and now she said I got the scar by falling from a staircase. Baby, they don't add up. Okay. See, 
since we don't believe what your parents told us and um, we actually believe they are lying to us I say we investigate the story I mean why should they lie to us if what they are telling us have nothing unpleasant to hide baby baby I am scared Steve I mean why would they lie to us? Why would my parents lie to me? <laughs> Baby, please, let's do something. Let's do whatever to find out what they're hiding from us. Please. But our story? Am I not talking to someone? Why are you being rude? Do you think they bought our story? I'm afraid I don't think they did. Yes. I'm so afraid I don't think they did. From the look of things, we have to cover more grounds by telling more lies to cover up the one we have told already. Wait, what are you talking about lies? Okay, okay, okay. Do you think that they will ever want to look into all we've told them? My husband. Amanda is suffering. And if this continues, they might want to dig up. Dig up? Yes! Did you see the way Joel was looking at us when we were telling our side of the story? It never looked like they believed us. In that case, I am just left with one option. Call my children and have our plans covered. Yes. Do you want me to remind you that Amanda is our cash cow? And we can't afford to lose her now. Not especially now. 